here, kitten. It's the kind kitten here. Hello! And I am showing off my arena ball submission for the high pixel map. I'll try not to keep the video too long. But basically, all the um, as you go around, all the walls are at least five high, so you can't jump on them. I believe there is an ability, uh, that a defensive ability that creates a mound of dirt, um, and which could potentially go over this height. But if needs be, I could just add another layer on top and uh, prevent them from going up. So that wouldn't take much editing. I did take into suggest. Oh, bear in mind also that this video um, was made after my forum post, so if the pictures there would be a bit outdated. So I took some suggestions from my friend Zulus, um, who suggested uh, putting lily pads down on the water, so when you run across them, it won't. It'll still give the. It'll still have the swampy feel, but it won't um, slow you down. There are several wall designs to help break up monotony. Um, as you can see, you uh, you can't jump up any of them. The only ones that you could potentially go into are uh, this one, which all I'd have to do to block it off is just put an extra slab in there, which makes it like the upper walls here, uh, so that you can't jump into it at all. Um, so, yeah, uh, so basically, the player will enter from this spawn, this is one of the two designs, run up here, go up the ramp, all the way along here, and hop over to this tree, and the health power-up will be on here, the damage power-up will be on these two pillars at the side. Um, I put the tree in the middle because, just because it fit the theme, and there is a slight possibility of losing your foot and then falling down, but the gap across is only one block wide jump each time, so it's very easy, even if you're not good at parkour. Um, and I wanted to do little bits that made the map less flat than, well, there are two uh, um, arena ball maps now, but I've only seen one of them, which and it's very flat. And I wanted to try and keep the feel of that for the most part. But I put occasional dips like this, but it shouldn't hinder the gameplay too much, because you see these slabs on the side here. There are a lot of them, and the holes are, well, I guess you could call these holes, are very big. So as you can see, I'm running back and forth. And apart from dipping down, it's not... It's not like really interfering that much, but I just did that for a bit of dimension, so the entire arena wasn't flat. And like I have a kind of bit in the middle here, like they do on the other map with all the glass um, that just uh, dips down. But my one's got the uh, tree in the middle, which is kind of the centerpiece. Um, there are also oh the other thing is uh, even if you could somehow get up on top of the trees, which is impossible. You know, I've tested that as well, you can't get up on them. So, there's no risk of people being able to escape the map boundaries. Also, there's no way they can do that on the wall. I mean, the, the maximum place that uh, they potentially could do it would be these walls. But you can see I jump to the side, can't get up them. The other uh, issue that people might consider is this uh, wall here, you can actually get onto here, but if someone is standing up there you can and has a heal uh, to uh, totem, you can just hit them straight away and it won't cause a problem. I said if needs be, I could just pretend this cobblestone is like a glass. I could just put glass here instead of glass panes and you wouldn't be able to get up it at all, but that's a very easy fix. Um, the, bear in mind, um, the other thing, this ledge here, if needs be, I can just get rid of this overhang. So, there are 
I guess, some places like here where it could potentially go over. But all I'd have to do is put like a, just rearrange the slab design, put something there, and they wouldn't be able to jump up it. So uh, it's not actually, none of the fixes that might need to be made would be very difficult. But unlike the other one, I want to add like a lot of different variety in the wall designs. You can see here, they look similar-ish, but they're still subtle. Not this one, this is all the same. There's still like little changes in each bit. And the other thing is that there are actually staff, uh, two secret areas for the staff. So if by chance this is accepted, uh, or even if it's not, I could eventually show them, uh, they will be able to just go there, chill while they watch people play the match. Well, at least in one of them, in the other one they can't. But I just, I don't know, I just like building secret stuff. I didn't have to make a staff lounge or two, but I just enjoy making secrets. But um, anyway, this is my um, this is my submission for the map. And uh, like I said, bear in mind that the this will be posted after I've taken some of the pictures, so those pictures will be outdated, but I can hopefully upgrade them soon. But uh, this is the kind kitten.